Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast. 10X Podcast. The show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Content 10X Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and this week I'm talking all about Quora and how to repurpose your blog posts onto Quora. So firstly, just let me ask you a question, which is, do you ever create content for Quora? And I'm guessing that the majority of answers to that question is probably no, but you can repurpose your blog posts onto Quora. So whilst you can repurpose your blog posts in a host of different ways, from podcasts to social media posts, checklists and videos, Quora is often overlooked, but it really is a minefield of questions waiting to be answered. So it's an ideal place for you to answer those questions and demonstrate your expertise, build a following and, you know, repurpose blog posts as well. So get the most out of blog posts that you've already written. It can really get you in front of the right people because people are there wanting to lean on your expertise in order to get you to answer questions that they have. So it's also so directly related to specific subject matter. And if you are a subject matter expert, then that's where you can really, really shine on Quora. So recent studies have revealed that adults spend two times more time on Quora than LinkedIn, which is crazy. Plus in 2018, Quora's monthly active user base reached 300 million, which was up from 200 million in 2017. So that growth is huge, 100 million users in one year. So the statistics like that, I really don't think should be ignored, especially the two times more than LinkedIn as well. It's it's crazy. So if you want to start reaching people in different ways, then perhaps consider Quora and that's what I'm going to dig into in this week's episode. So Quora is a Q&A website. On it you're free to ask and answer as many questions as you like and you can use it for entertainment purposes like testing knowledge of favourite TV shows and things like that or for business and sharing knowledge, practical solutions and things like that. So I'm sure you've noticed that whenever you put a question to Google, a related Quora post is often there on the first page in the search results or even the first search result. And you only need to spend a few minutes on Quora and you'll discover that people use it for literally everything from help with writing essays to help with with marketing to relationship questions. It's really, really, really varied. Now, it's easy to get started on Quora. All you have to do is create a user profile complete with your name and bio credentials. And just keep in mind that whenever you answer a question or when you post a question yourself, um, everyone will see that profile image, name and bio. So it's really important. And your bio can be edited. So can you, you can use it to let people know a little bit more about you and your field of expertise. And when you've completed your profile, you're basically ready to start looking for industry related topics that you can engage with. So use keywords to locate relevant questions and remember that users basically they can upvote and downvote people's answers to highlight the most popular. So unless you want your answer to sink to the bottom of the pile, you want to make sure that you provide the best answer. So you want to get those upvotes on your answers and get your answers seen. So it's worth taking time to answer questions that have got a lot of upvotes Um, These are the discussions that get the most engagement, which means people will see your answer. And when searching for discussions to engage with, make sure that you choose questions that you can actually provide the solution to. You might not be able to solve the entire problem with a single post, but you can share some helpful information. And if you can think you can help them further, then direct them to other places that can help them further. Do you have a really specific blog post or podcast or video that you can direct them to to help them further? So answer the question well and direct them further if that's relevant. Now, there are over 400,000 topics to explore, so you won't have trouble finding industry-related topics on Quora. Whether you're in a niche industry or not, your audience is on Quora and they've got a lot of questions for you. So savvy business owners use Quora to share their expertise and build credibility as a trusted expert in their field. So if you haven't brought Quora into your content marketing strategy yet, and I'll completely admit it's not really something that we've been using at Content 10X, but the reason for this episode is because we're really exploring and looking into it now, doing research and starting to use it ourselves. So it seems like a really good time. 300 million monthly active users on Quora can't be ignored. It's a very popular platform and also 
And in fact, Quora's rapid growth is even more impressive when, when you compare it to, say, Facebook's steady decline in usage. So according to Edison Research and Triton Digital's Infinite Dow report in 2019, Facebook saw for the first time ever a decline from 67% to 61% of people using Facebook. And Twitter also saw a decline from 23 to 19%. Yet Quora, you know, it's not a social media platform. That's not really, really my point here, but it's growing in users and it's people who are asking questions that you have the answer to this should really be piquing our interest as business owners and marketers trying to get our name and our brand in front of the right people really what Quora is is a unique cross between social media and research because it does embody a lot of the social network qualities but it's more there for people who are researching and asking questions getting answers and then there's the engagement aspect and the voting aspect so it embodies both a cross between social media and research so why should you repurpose your blog posts on Quora? So I've already mentioned it, but instead of creating new content all the time, it's a way that you can already put existing content onto Quora. So we're not suggesting that you completely reinvent the wheel, but it's a really good way of sharing your content with an audience that really do want to leverage your expertise because they're actually asking questions that you know the answer to. And it's completely free to use. And with a little bit of research and a watchful eye, you can learn what content your audience needs from you as well. So you can see what they're asking and you can even do this the reverse way. Look at questions they're asking, create content and then come into Quora and start answering those questions. So how do you repurpose your blog post onto Quora? Answering questions in your field of expertise. So you need to consider the topics that you want to be recognised for. There are 400,000 different topics to choose from and each of the topics could potentially attract thousands of interested participants. So make sure that you choose relevant topics and answer questions in your niche. However, you must provide real value. So if you don't think a full length blog post will provide the most value to the individual asking the question, then don't use that. You, you can choose any ideas and insights from original blog posts and just wordsmith them a little bit to be relevant to answering that question. Perhaps it's only part of the blog post that could answer that question. But make sure that you, you know, add value, add some personal touches to your answers as well. So it doesn't seem like a generic post and address individual concerns show that you genuinely care and you want to help them so this will help you gain trust on the platform and people will be more interested in hearing what you have to say so really remember that when you answer a question on quarry your content is exposed to not just the person asking the question but to others who are looking at the same post and then we can flip this around and look at it from another angle, how to repurpose a Quora Q&A into a blog post. So we could reverse the gears here and actually repurpose a question into a blog post for our own website. So Quora being a perfect place to source new content ideas because you're seeing those questions that people want the answers to. You may find yourself answering a question that you don't have a blog post for, you're just answering that question. So why not then go on and develop the answer that you provided to that question on Quora into a blog post for your website? And if your answers get lots of upvotes too, then that gives you even more of a reason to repurpose it into a blog post that addresses the same points and maybe goes into more detail. Then what you could do is you could return to Quora later and repurpose that blog post into answers to similar questions. Here are my three Quora top tips. If you're struggling to come up with ideas for blog posts or content at all, then go to the Q&A sections on Quora and take a look at the questions people are asking in your industry for inspiration. And secondly, when answering people's questions, remember to refer to your own content and website in order to answer questions. Don't just post links though and nothing else. You won't gain any votes from just posting a link. You need to answer the question. So you'll get some down votes if you just go in with a link. But in-depth and helpful answers will see engagement and positive feedback. And number three, make sure you regularly engage with others on Quora. Don't let yourself get lost in the crowd. Discuss industry-relevant topics and offer real solutions to people's questions. Because if you do this, you'll gain more engagement and people will be more likely to trust you on the platform. So there, I mean, a bit of a whistle-stop tour of some ideas that you can do with Quora. There are many different ways to repurpose written content for and from Quora. And there's no doubt it's a great platform for growing an audience, attracting high quality traffic back to your site and just boosting your authority and credibility online. If you want to make the most out of the platform, you do need to stay active and you need to kind of increase your credibility and authority by regularly answering questions that people are asking and engaging with people as well. 
So I hope that's been really useful. As I mentioned, Quora is something that we are currently really exploring at the moment and we think it's got lots of potential and loads of opportunities. So we're looking at all of our repurposing opportunities onto Quora and I will share our journey with you on how we are finding Quora and the results that we're seeing on the podcast. So thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. I hope you found it useful, a really different topic to usual. So I hope that you found it insightful and perhaps inspiring to go, to go and check Quora out. If you ever need any help with your content repurposing, then don't hesitate to get in touch. We offer a fully done for you content repurposing service here at Content 10X. Also, if you aren't already, do, do make sure that you follow me on social media at Content 10X on all of the social media platforms. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for listening to this week's podcast episode and I'll catch you in the next one.